Are you tired of cleaning your sofa or bed from dog hair? But don't worry. Today we'll tell you what and how you can stop your dog's hair from excess shedding. Before we start, make sure you like the video at the end and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And please hit the bell button to get notified every time we post our new video. And follow and like us on Instagram and Facebook. Either it's a dog with short hair or with long hair, dogs drop a lot of fur normally. The amount of hair and frequency often depends on the type of breed and their overall health. Also, it depends on the season, where some dogs develop a thick coat in winters and tend to shed it in the spring. But if your dog is shedding more than normal from a particular breed, then it may have some undiagnosed health issues. You can't stop the shedding completely, but you can reduce it by keeping him well-groomed and healthy. So let's drop an eye on the cause and see how we can improve or reduce the cause of excessive shedding. The first reason can be lack of nutrition in their diet. A high deficiency of nutrition can create some serious effects on your dog's coat and skin. So it is best to start giving them proper and nutritious full diet, which will improve their overall health and coat. Choose the better quality of food, which has meat as their main ingredient. Consult your vet first and avoid the food your dog may be allergic to. Keep in mind, better nutrition diet is not going to stop your dog's hair from shedding completely. The second reason might be that you are missing omega-3 fatty acids in their diet. Olive oil or flaxseed oil is a rich source of omega-3 fatty acids, which improves dry, flaky skin and creates a soft, smooth coat and prevents the fur from falling out. You should start adding a teaspoon of any one of them into their regular diet. Or you can buy supplements of omega-3 from the stores, but consult first before giving them to your dog. Or you can choose fish like salmon, tuna, or any other fish which are rich in these fatty acids. Fish skins also have a healthy source, but never give them fish bones. The third reason might be that you're not following the 5 to 10% rule. It is very necessary that your dog's 5 to 10% of the daily diet should be some kind of treat. These treats can be safe fruits or veggies, like apple slices without seeds, seedless watermelon, carrot or cucumber crunchy slices, etc. To know which human food is dangerous for your dog and what you shouldn't be giving them, watch our next linked video. The link will also be given in the description box below. The fourth reason might be that your dog is drinking less water. Give access to fresh water to your dog. Keep them hydrated well, especially in summers, because dehydration leads to dry skin, which leads to hair fall. If your dog isn't drinking enough water, you can add frozen chicken broth cubes into his drinking water. The change of taste can encourage them to drink more water. The fifth reason might be that you're not brushing your dog on a regular basis. Grooming is an essential practice you should never avoid. Brushing your dog will help you to remove the excess fur which needs to be pulled out from their coat. You can use bristle brushes for short-haired dogs and rake brushes for long-haired dogs to pull out their heavy undercoat and get out the excess fur before shedding. The sixth reason might be that you're not giving them a regular bath. Yes, some say bathing your dog regularly is good and some say not. But what I suggest to you here is bathing your dog on a regular, required intervals is good and safe. The loose hair will flow down from the coat in the tub during bathing. Also, a blow dryer will remove the loose hair. Also, excessive bathing is harmful as it washes out their coat oils, dries up their skin, which causes the hair to fall. The seventh might be that your dog is suffering from stress. As stress leads to hair fall in humans, similarly, it leads to hair fall in dogs, too. Always keep a check on your dog. Give them more attention than before. Love and play with them. Try to figure out the reason behind their stress and work on it. The last reason might be their genes. This is the rarest possible cause to hair fall in dogs. If everything is correct and still your dog is shedding more than normal, then it might be happening due to their genes. Either your dog's genes got some variation due to physical or internal changes, or it is hereditary. 
You can't do much for that other than keeping them groomed and their diet nutritional. Or ask your vet if they can help you out in this. If you see excessive hair loss, baldness, and patches on their body, then you must take a visit to your vet. Please feel free to tell us if we missed out on something. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and share our video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Want to get your dog featured? Submit your video at moncudog.com.